for this for tonight we're going to throw together this recipe which is a steak and potato skillet you can see how delicious it looks and it really features uh, a seasoning called black garlic seasoning and if you don't have it it's not the end of the world although it does give it this distinctive taste but if you have another seasoning that would go great with a steak and a potato use that so what we're um i wanted to highlight a couple of tools that really make life just a lot easier um, and one of them, so I want to show you this. So this is two steaks. These are just stir sirloin steaks that I had salted in advance and I froze them. I literally took them out of the freezer and put them in the fridge and they have thawed there. But the key thing I want to show you is there's no liquid in here. What's unique about these thick reusable um, bags is that um, they really protect in the freezer or in sous vide because they're so thick. And so normally when I, I'm surprised actually, because normally when you thaw meat, a lot of water comes out of it. There is, this is dry in here. So I'm really impressed with that. So that's, if you have these, use them for this kind of thing. If you don't have them, put them on your list. Another must have for trying a new recipe. So, you know, you're probably like me where you try, you look at a recipe and you think, oh, you kind of do an evaluation. You know, you skim the ingredients and you think, does this look too complicated or, you know, too much work? Um, and so this is a simple recipe. However, you know, one of the things that I always have questions about is, do I have the right amount of meat? And so weighing things is really nice. So having a great scale that you can use that use has different weights. So this one will alternate between ounces, pounds, and grams. So depending on what measure you like or what the recipe is calling for, you have that flexibility, as well as having a tear feature. So T-A-R-E, is that the white one? That's unit. <laughs> that says tear, all right? And so what that means is it zeroes out the weight. So you put on, so this is what I did for the potatoes because it counts, calls for a pound of small yellow potatoes. So I put it on, it weighs the thing. It says, well, it can't weigh properly because I'm holding it in the air and it's not flat, however. Um, and then I press the tear button, it zeroes it out, and then I weigh my incremental, incrementally, so I weigh my potatoes. So you can use, you know, you don't have to put the bare thing on there, so just learning to use a scale on every day makes life a lot easier, um, yeah. So those are the key things that I wanted to show you. I am also going, I'm choosing um, this skillet. So you can see the depth of it. Um, you can see the shape of it. And you can see that it is completely nonstick in the center. And what this, one of the things that you're going to find with this pan, and so if you don't have this pan, use the traits of this pan and pick one that you have or put this on your list. Um, and so you want a really nice hot heat, easy to um, move things around and it doesn't stick as well as um, a hot heat, nonstick, um, and it just, it browns. You want something that browns beautifully. It's a really high performing pan. I quite adore it. Um, and it, you could also use it in a flat bottomed uh, one that has more surface area, but this one has enough for the size of recipe that this is. So it's a great choice because later when I put it all together and I add the potatoes, which I'm softening on the stove top now, and they are done. You can also do these, the recipe calls, I suggest that you do that in the microwave. So whichever is fastest and easiest for you. All right, let's get going. So we want the steak in one and a half inch pieces. And so um, we'll just cut it up, toss it in there with our oil and our black garlic seasoning. Of course, it's really nice to have a nice sharp knife. I cannot say, you know, it. <laughs> makes life so much easier. As you can see, this just cuts right through there. And so we're going to just toss this together. Hopefully you can see. I'm, at, I'm recording this around supper time and it's now <laughs> getting dark outside, but it's a little too glary to have all the lights on. So I apologize. I hope you can actually see what this looks like. So it's all nice and seasoned. I have my oil um, hot in the pan. And I'm gonna go ahead and drop that in the oil. I can move it around. I put it in the oil first and then I move it. Because it's not really crowding the pan at all. There you go. And then we're gonna brown it up. So, I, and also before we continue, I just have to say that I wish I was a little shorter because uh, well, I need to be right about here <laughs> to be. So pardon me that part of my head is chopped off. But um, so I browned the potato, uh, the, the, the steak, all the sides, and then I took it out of the pan, put it in my insulated bowl to keep it nice and warm. 
and then I drained the potatoes and added butter to the pan and then went ahead and browned them really beautifully. So the things, two secrets, don't overcrowd. The way to not overcrowd your pan is to cut it for the size and the size that it's telling you to cut it. Because so for instance, with a steak, if you cut it too small, I think I, I mentioned this already, but if you cut it too small, you have too many pieces, too much surface area to brown, and it's not gonna brown, it's just gonna grate, and you're not gonna get the flavor and the crunch. So um, same thing with the potatoes. Once they're in there, don't move them around. Just let them sit in the oil. Watch the heat and see if that they're browning. You might need a little more heat, it might be a little bit less. So you can see just how gorgeous, um, brown and crispy that these are. And so what I'm gonna do now is uh, pop this in here. So that hangs on there. I'm gonna go ahead. So you can see this is buttery. It is not watery, juicy. That's a good sign. Look at my pan. I'm just gonna take this. This is the silicone turner, by the way. And we're gonna put all that buttery goodness back in there. And this is all gonna go in the dishwasher. We'll put the lid on and then let me show you the sauce. All right, so the sauce is some half a cup of sour cream. It is some of the black garlic, a tablespoon of the black garlic seasoning. There you go. A little bit of Worcester and a little bit of half and half. So like half a tablespoon and a tablespoon. You stir it together and then we serve it. So I'm gonna serve this with a salad um, and put some parsley on there for some color, some contrast, it'll look amazing. I'll feel a little more virtuous. Um, so shout out to this fabulous pan. If you don't have it, put it on your list, get it on my Black Friday sale or, you know, because there's so many ways to get it. Um, but thank you for hanging out with me. I hope you enjoyed this recipe. I really encourage you to give it a try. Um, if you have any questions, reach out and ask. I'm here to help you be successful. Make this approachable and delicious for any weeknight. Have a great one.